Yay, it's time to head off to Panama City Beach, Florida. Are you ready? I'm ready. A little bit tired, early morning, but it's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to go, I've never been there before. See you soon. We made it. It's been a super long day of travel, but we are here now. We're right on the water in Panama City Beach. You can see, uh, not much, because it's really, really dark here. But tomorrow, I can't wait to see the views. Um, what I can see for sure from here is a lot of water and the pier's right next to us. So it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to explore it in the daylight. All right, so here's our balcony view. We're on the 10th floor, it's pretty awesome up here. We could see the moonlight out of our window last night when we went to bed as well as Jupiter. And right over here we have the pier. We're super excited to go exploring. All right, so it's like this all along the coast, right where the tide levels are. There's just a ton of seashells. It's really beautiful. And then we just have white sand beaches going in every direction for miles and miles. Pretty amazing. And the most delicate seashell I've ever seen here. It's, well, it's getting light. It's like iridescent and you can see right through it. And I just dropped it, but it's really cool. Here we have the Panama City Beach Pier. It's pretty cool, but it's not like the longest pier I've ever seen. What's a little disappointing is that you do have to pay to go out on it, even as a spectator. So we're passing on that. I don't know if I'm just spoiled because on the West Coast, you don't have to pay for pier access, but eh, it doesn't seem worth it to me. All right, we're at St. Andrews State Park. This is actually tomorrow going to be the turnaround place for our marathon. Uh, so we are just checking things out. It's kind of cool and swampy here. So we're gonna do a little exploring. Is it weird that when we see this sign, we're like, ooh, I hope I see an alligator because that'd be pretty cool. All right, we're still at St. Andrews State Park. We're down on the beach. Scott's picking up some shells here. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. There are some sand dunes here. Um, I'm supposed to stay off of those, but it's really, really gorgeous. And when we come back in the future, we'd like to take the Shell Island Ferry. We just didn't have time this time. All right, we've got our toes in the water. It's a little chilly, but I wouldn't go swimming right now in here, but it feels pretty darn good. I mean, it's December, feet in the water. Okay, so right here by the parking lot of the Jetty Overlook is a World War II encampment um, where they had some artillery set up in case they needed it. So we're right by the water here and I believe it was a 155 millimeter gun that was located here. Look at this rule breaker. You can't read the sign apparently. All right, we're headed back down to the water for our first sunset in Panama City Beach. It looks like it's gonna be a beauty. The race is in one hour. I'm super nervous and super ready to be done with it. See you guys in a few hours. 3.2 done, 23 to go. So my knee refused to do the full 26, but I finished the half and that's still pretty awesome. And now I can just enjoy the rest of the day in Florida. expected I'm in this fancy airport wheelchair because my knee refuses to walk at this point but overall the trip was pretty amazing except for the knee thing and then we didn't see the alligator what was your best part uh, probably St. Andrews Park because it was gorgeous the water the beach the steam the water was so clear and refreshing yeah the park was amazing it was really fun like Panama City Beach in like total was just amazing and beautiful. Loved it. Yeah. 
guys.